Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for returning for another segment. We'll be speaking with Dr. Eric Hughes in this segment, Executive Vice President, Global R&D, and Chief Medical Officer at Teva Pharmaceutical Industries Limited. He's going to talk about the availability of Osteto XR. It's a once-daily treatment for adults living with tardive dyskinesia and chorea associated with Huntington's disease. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Dr. Eric Hughes, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you, Neil. It's good to be here. Well, tell us a, a bit about your work at Teva. You know, I've been at Teva now for about a year, but I've been in the industry developing drugs for about 20 years. Um, I always like to say that I was a geek when I was a kid mm-hmm. and got into science, and that brought me into, you know, a, a career in medicine. I'm, I'm trained as an infectious disease physician, and I have a immunology PhD as well, and I really have found a, a calling in, in drug development. Uh, I discovered that when I was taking care of patients with HIV, and I realized that medicines are incredibly important to uh, improve and prolong people's lives, so it's a great calling. Tardive dyskinesia and chorea are both associated with Huntington's disease. It's my understanding that they're two relatively rare diseases. Can you tell us about these diseases and how they uh, usually manifest in patients? Yeah, so there's there's two uh, components here. There's Huntington's disease, which is a disease of, that affects about you know 30,000 people in the U.S. And of those people who have Huntington's disease, about 90% of them have chorea associated with their disease. Um, and this is uh, causes uh, involuntary and random movements and really impacts their day-to-day living. You know, tardive dyskinesia is a, a is a movement disorder associated with uh, a number of different treatments that we, uh, physicians use every day, including uh, antipsychotics, uh, antidepressants, and uh, antiemetics. And this actually affects uh, quite a few number of people. Uh, There's about 785,000 people in the U.S. who actually have tardive dyskinesia, but only about 120,000 of those people are actually diagnosed. Do we have a a clear understanding uh, as to what it is about some of these drugs that causes TD? Yeah. So... Basically, what it comes down is to the, the level and the, the, the uh, homeostasis, you know, the balance of dopamine in the brain. So both uh, Huntington's disease and the effects of some of these treatments we give to, say, schizophrenia causes an imbalance in the dopamine levels. And uh, what Osteto does is it uh, blocks the, uh, I- the release of uh, inappropriately high levels of dopamine in the brain, so it brings back the balance of the dopamine, and that balance of dopamine in the brain then controls these uh, random movements uh, to a certain extent. Now, it's my understanding that Osteto was already available as a twice-daily option for uh, people suffering with this condition. Now, the FDA recently approved a once-daily treatment for adults with TD and HD chorea called Osteto XR. Can you explain uh, the differences between, you already mentioned, Osteto and Osteto XR, if you would? So that's an important uh, uh, evolution in our uh, development of the drug. So first and foremost, we're happy that, you know, Osteto uh, given twice a day has a a, a good uh, um, efficacy and safety profile, and it can treat people with both uh, Huntington's uh, disease with chorea and uh, tardive dyskinesia. But many of these patients are on other medications. So the ability to make it more convenient for people is very important. Inherence in many of these these, uh, indications is very important. And by making the drug go from twice a day to just once a day makes it much more convenient and will increase that adherence to the treatment. You mentioned that some of these patients are on other treatments as well. How seamless a process is it to to use Osteto XR and some of the other medications that a person may be on? So let's um, use schizophrenia as an example. So schizophrenia can be a devastating disease, not only for the the patient who has to suffer, you know, with difficulties, you know, keeping a job and interacting with society, but also their, their family. The good news for schizophrenia is that we have lots of great treatments. There's a lot of uh, new and uh, and old anti-psychotics uh, that really bring these people back to a normal functioning for daily activities and, you know, can hold a job and uh, have uh, better uh, relationships with people. Uh, the challenge is uh, making sure that 
they are adherent to the medication and they can take it. You know, we all have trouble taking medications, but for a variety of different reasons, these patients actually struggle a little bit more. So anything we can do to then treat these patients that make it uh, easier for them will, you know, add to their improvement and their symptoms in their life. So going from simply uh, twice a day to once a day uh, will increase adherence. It will make it more possible for these folks to stay on their the medications and really have a more productive and better life. What about possible side effects? Have they been reduced? Are they about the same as using Osteto? Yeah, so it, it's important to note that, uh, you know, with the folks who have uh, Huntington's disease, Korea, and, and get treated with Osteto, the most common side effects are just sleepiness, some diarrhea, maybe tiredness and dry mouth. And the folks who uh, are uh, getting Osteto for tardive dyskinesia just frequently have nasopharyngitis, you know, a little bit of inflammation in the nose and throat, and some in- insomnia. Uh, but the risk-benefit profile remains very positive for the, you know, their increased or improvement in their movement disorders. What about candidates that just aren't uh, a good candidate for Osteto XR? Do those uh, folks exist? So, you know, we, I, I mentioned that there's about 20 to 30% of the, all the people taking those different medications um, experience TD. Um, you know, it's going to be mostly a lifestyle uh, modification. It's very difficult to, you know, live your life with these, mo- uh, these uh, involuntary motions. Like, for example, just drinking a cup of coffee for some folks can be very difficult because of the jerkiness or, you know, even walking sometimes is uh, complicated for folks with chorea associated with Huntington's disease. So there are some modifications you can do, but, you know, controlling the jerkiness is probably key for those folks. If you can't tolerate, I think it's mostly uh, daily modifications of how you live your life, you know, getting around and, you know, trying to drink uh, with straws or things like that. So, So simple modifications are the best alternative. Is Osteto XR indicated for, are we talking 18 as an adult or over 21? Yes, the indication is for adults, so over 18. Okay. Fortunately, the majority of the folks who are struggling with tardive dyskinesia and those folks with chorea of hunting disease are in their uh, adulthood. So, you know, we're really excited um, about this development of Osteto XR. You know, Teva has really been committed over the years. We have a long history in treating uh, patients with mental health conditions, and this really is uh, emphasized by our, you know, our investment in clinical research and innovation. I, I mean, I love my job. I love doing drug development here at Teva. Um, I think it's very important, you know, like what we're doing today is to raise awareness about uh, tardive dyskinesia and chorea associated with hunting disease and make sure that physicians and patients know that there are treatments available that can improve their symptoms. Um, you know, I think that Osteto XR is a great new uh, advance with our Osteto program. It gives greater convenience in a once daily pill, and that will hopefully improve the adherence of patients uh, on treatment. Uh, you, can, you can learn more about it at uh, Osteto.com, uh, where there's a, a variety of different information about Osteto XR and, you know, the conditions it treats. Doctor, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, and hopefully you return. Thank you, Neil. Hope, hopefully I will, too. Thanks. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Eric Hughes. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe at Anchor Spotify and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com health professional radio.